We back. It's another video. Shout out the boy Cam. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Cam coming with a little vlog, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cam for real. Oh, where my buttons? Shout out to Cam. Cam coming with us a vlog, man. This is not everyone needs a podcast. Let's check it out. Look, I'm going to be the one to say it. Just because you have one good conversation with your homies, that does not mean that you need to start a podcast. Thank you. Say it again. <laughs> Half the time, you just don't know what you're talking about. We don't give a f about what you and your homies got to talk about. Not everybody needs a podcast because you spewing bull looking like a dummy on the internet. Oh my God. I'm Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Keep these short SM7Bs away from these niggas. Please. Please. Like, I, I get I got one. I ain't got no pod. I'm, you know, this is us. These niggas, hey, you but they gotta go on a checklist. Is this for a podcast? If they click yes, and they be like, give me five reasons why you think you deserve a podcast, and they can't think of a good five, get the the f out of here. Do not give them no f equipment, bro. Please. Oh my God. I'm tired of dudes talking about aliens once, then thinking that they have the right to buy a sure SM7B from Best Buy. Bruh. Now they got a podcast called Alien Talks that's just uninteresting and dry. The host sucks, the friends suck, and even the podcast name sucks. You're not the next Joe Rogan, bro. Put the mic down oh, and God. put the fries in the, the bag. bag. Someone's got to say it. Remember that one relative that told you that you weren't making it to the NBA when you were like five years old? Just think of me as that. Hey, everyone needs a little bit of tough love in oh, their life. Oh God, you don't. Listen, listen to me. Look at me. Hey, I know you're thinking about starting that podcast. Don't. Wait. They don't love you like I love you. Wait. They don't love you. Don't. Do not start that pod. We don't care. I promise. Please. <laughs> Fuck life not everyone can be nice in this world and i'm gonna be the boogeyman here saying how your podcast sucks and your friends are boring maybe you should think twice before you take that trip to best buy see the problem is that this world is way too nice now and now we have podcast clips of dudes talking about how they want their mothers to have good sexual experiences because i would love my mom i yeah. want her to come i don't know if it's go yo best buy go confiscate your mics bro Best Buy, go confiscate your fucking mic, please. This is weird to say, but I want my mom to have flawless experiences. How do you not know if that's weird to say? Like, oh, oh my gosh, I want my mom. Nigga pretty much said, hey, if my mom ain't nothing, I'm bucking. Like, bro, I, bro I, I, listen, listen, I love my mom to death. Shout out to her for real. But whether or not she get off, I don't give a fuck. Bro, I, I could I could care less, bro. I could care fucking less, bro. Clearly she know what she doing if I'm here and she got other kids. She know what she doing. Why does it do I, I, I like what do we what do we what do we what do we where why who the fuck man mom to have great sexual experience that is weird i want you to have that yeah, and i want you to have that as well so it's like is that weird to say really, like i genuinely want my mom to be getting down good i'm gonna oh my god oh, oh my god i want to say some i want to say some stuff God, I want to say some stuff. Mm. Oh, you lucky I'm on a green app. You so, I mean the purple app. I want to say some stuff. <laughs> I, want, I want to say some shit, bro, because you niggas, ah, you fucking slurs. Buzz and mute that. Even though slur is not a slur, they might take slur as a slur, so don't mute that, please. Oh, my God. I'm gonna give you some tough love right here you know this is gonna be the toughest love that you've ever felt this love is gonna be tougher than a well done steak you need to stop podcasting bro i'm sorry never in my life have i ever thought ever. about my mom having good sexual experiences y'all are just odd human beings what even sparks this conversation right. like how, how, how do you get here how do you get here how 
we even get to this point? And why was this video even uploaded to the masses, bro? We need to start telling people no more often. You know what, man? I'm thinking about starting a podcast. No, bro, put the mic down. At this point, it needs to be easier to buy an RPG from a gun store than it is to buy a microphone from Best Buy. <laughs> because I promise you, if there were background checks for mics, we would be nowhere near this point. It feels like everyone has a podcast nowadays. And when I say everyone, Every I mean everyone. One. NBA players, rappers, children. The Hawk Tua girl just started a podcast called... <laughs> Like, and these niggas don't even be caring about the podcast, bro. They just, they just be doing it because it be, like, bro, these niggas be having nothing interesting to talk about, bro. Listen to me. Like, if you can't have a pod, right? If you, if you have a podcast and you can't have a decent pod without having a guest, you don't need a pod, bro. That's, that's radio. That's radio. Like, like, if you can't, as a collective, sit down and talk about shit like you need a guest you don't need a pod bro you don't need a pod because you are not entertaining unless you that's that's an interview bro it's an interview bro like i, I like now i granted i will give some except exceptions to like i will give some exceptions to like shannon sharp his like his podcast when he has a guest he really gets into the nitty-gritty of talking to these celebrities and i respect that but like i don't want to know chelsea from fucking down the street i don't give a fuck what she got going on the waynes brothers for sure i'll listen to what they say. cat williams i'll listen to what he got to say like you know i'm shannon sharp shit is entertaining but like who i don't who is this i know this is the hawk tool girl and somebody else even i'll even i'll, I'll even throw it i'll chop it up to be like Shout out to um to Swag, right? Swag, he plays COD. Um, I, I've been listening to his pod. He talks to his guest solo, but then he also has he talks to his other co-hosts solo sometimes, but then he also has guests. He also has guests, so he does both. He can do both, and when he has guests, I watch. But like what I like Swag got niggas like flight. Cash nasty, like you know what I'm saying, silky. Uh, you know, like niggas that you could actually. I right, let me let me see what's going on. Who is this? Sorry, sorry. I'll talk to her. Don't get me wrong. Shout out to her for running up a bag off that one phrase. You know, oh, I God. saw that she hey, got. Listen, listen. I'm, and I'm not no hater, but wrap this shit up. You know what I'm saying? Wrap this shit up, bro. Cause it's uh, it's wrap this shit up, bro. Like, I, like it's get your money, but golly, wrap this shit up. 30k bro. for popping out to a club a few weeks ago. Like, kudos to her. You know, I'm gonna clap it up for her. But why would I want to hear that woman speak for two hours straight each week about current events in her life? I mean, for crying out loud, she got famous for talking about how she spits on the pee pee. Why am I supposed to care about what this woman has to say? Does she really need a podcast for saying hawk? And spit on that thing, you get me? The world could go without a podcast from this woman. You know what? Maybe I'm just hating. You know, maybe why, why don't I just check out one episode? You can't do it as good as do it. Me. You do it. No, you do it. Hot to. <laughs> you, go. you gotta put like an emphasis on it, like to. You know, like really <laughs> to. Get this shit off the fucking airways, bro. Come on, bro. Get this sh What is- What is this? I hate being a hater, but come on, bro. I hate being a hater. I don't want to hate on what nobody got going on. Because, hey, if somebody's watching, somebody's watching. But honestly, at this point, I really do think niggas is watching for the memes, bro. Gotta be. Gotta be watching for the memes, bro. Like, I, I don't, I legit, nobody has ever said, yo, you, have you checked out the Hawk to a podcast without fucking joking, bro? Literally. And I, I hate being a hater, but like, this is a clip, like. <laughs> yeah, say it, all right, all together. Hawk to, Hawk to, Hawk to. Say it aggressive, like, like, Hawk really. to. <laughs> mm.
Absolutely not. After watching one episode of the Talk to a Podcast, I wanted to announce that I am quitting YouTube and becoming a full-time neurosurgeon, astronaut, and monk all because of this podcast. This is one of the most enlightening podcasts that I have ever watched. And I just wanted to say thank you, Hawk to a Girl, for opening my third eye and helping me evolve as a human being with your phenomenal podcast. I really appreciate you. All jokes aside, no hate to her. She's just capitalizing off her opportunity like any other human being would in her position but overall i just don't think there's anything really interesting about this woman that sets her apart from all these other podcasts out there yeah she may be able to get some great guests on there because the podcast is connected to better which is a sports media company co-owned by jake paul but at the end of the day like the guests can only carry her so far you know like i said there's not much interesting about this woman she got famous for saying how she spits on the nutsack you feel me but like i said she's just capitalizing off of a once in a lifetime opportunity podcasts sure. after all aren't the hardest thing to do podcasting is one of those things that i believe is easy to start but hard to master yep. the bare minimum is to get a few mics sit down with some friends record chat for a little bit and boom you got a podcast and see like shout out to swag this was a good fucking pod this was a very good pod i i enjoyed listening to cash nasty this was his first pod he said how he started what he did you know it's it is very hard to master a pod it is but they're doing it well few mics sit down with some friends record chat for a little bit and boom you got a podcast like it's not that hard and if you already have an audience it makes creating a podcast even easier because if the audience you've garnered cares to watch you for like maybe a few seconds or a few minutes each day they'll for sure listen to you talk for about two hours each week so it makes sense to why so many people are starting podcasts nowadays but like the title says not everyone needs one yeah, while I'm some sure of don't. them are good some just feel like people talking just to talk like i wouldn't even call some people's podcast a podcast i'd rather call it mike terrorism the other day i saw a podcast clip of two dudes talking about lefty lucy righty tidy being the greatest invention of all time lefty lucy righty tidy is the, the craziest invention of man i use that all the time the saying lefty lucy righty tidy we just got a new machine it's okay. like it's it's called an articulating log loader <laughs> yeah and what it sounds like my toilet paper <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's forks like this that picks up a log hate being a hater but i'm not i'm not listening to this i i guess there's there's i'm i'm i hate being a hater maybe there's an audience for everything right chat i'm not huh mm -hmm. yep i'm not being a hater and then it can open and close on it and the left button opens it and the right button closes it and i literally say to myself i'm like lefty loosey righty tighty when yeah. i need to let go or grab on it's the lefty Lucy. I might get that tattooed on myself. Like no offense to these two dudes at all, because they're probably great people. I could probably sit down, chop it up with them, eat a steak and just vibe out with these dudes. But there's gotta be something way more interesting to talk about than a saying used for when you're screwing something in. Like what's next? Are we gonna talk about bunny ears being the best method to tie your shoes or maybe even schist being the best rock there is? This conversation just feels so bland and pointless. Like if an alien were to imagine two human beings talking, I'm pretty sure think of this AI generated ass convo right yeah. here. Like this is the product <laughs> of podcasting. Now nah, this dead ass does kind of sound like an AI generated convo, bro. Holy. Holy, bro. So easy to start up. We now have dudes talking about screwing mechanisms as a topic of interest. Like I don't think every conversation has to be important in a podcast, but there's no way that these dudes copped some premium podcast mics, got the setup and everything just to talk about lefty, lefty Lucy, Lucy righty tighty. tighty. This podcast Crazy. just has no meaning at all. It's just yip and yap going back and forth about nothing. I swear these podcasts just get worse and worse, bro. Like there's just too many podcasts now, and what more is there really to talk about? We gotta sit here and like, just think for a second. What more is there really to talk about? Instead of having to get a degree for a job, people need to start getting a degree for a podcast. Like, let, let's just be real. Or like, like is there bro, really a need? You like, like I said, you gotta like write this down, bro. Like, give me five good reasons on why you want to start a pod, bro. And if they are not great, valid reasons, get the fuck up out the fucking airways, bro for a podcast where frat dudes talk about hawk tua bro i don't know if you heard of the hawk tua girl <laughs> yeah hawk tua. <laughs> Spit on that thing. Yeah. bro that blew out out of proportion like i low-key think it got too big you think yeah i don't even know if i've seen the clip but <laughs> good for her i guess i don't know no like 
it's everywhere. Dude, even at like Old Town, you'll hear Hoktua remixes. Really? Yes. Bro, I, I think it's crazy that you can like do one little thing and a clip can go viral and then all of a sudden the next day you're like a celebrity. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like that's that's crazy. Yo, this guy in the comment section even gets it. This man said podcast equipment should cost one billion dollars. I totally agree. I'm not gonna lie, like no offense to these dudes, probably some great people, but I'd rather drag my balls through the hot Sahara desert than listen to these frat dudes talk for two hours straight. You best believe I'm serving a life sentence before I listen to Jimmy and Tom from the beta. Bro, the thing is though, like one of them didn't even sound interested, bro. I'm gonna keep it a whole bean dizzily. That one, one nigga didn't even sound like he was interested, bro. He's like, did you see that the Hawk 2? Oh, really? Good for her. Like, like, it's, you gotta, bro, if you're picking a podcast co-host, you have to have somebody you can talk to that can hold a conversation, that has some knowledge on some things, that can, y'all gotta both bring something. That's why I like podcasts centered around something. Like, at least, like, when some, some niggas got a podcast centered around, like, a good meme or a good Reddit post or a good Twitter post or... You know what I'm saying? Or the am I an asshole pose? You know what I'm saying? Something. Something, bro. The Theta Sigma frat talk on a podcast for two hours. Like this podcast is just drier than a Popeye's biscuit. There is no energy at all to this conversation. And you may be thinking like, bro, you can't judge off of just one clip of the podcast, you know? This is every clip. What is your favorite frat? I don't know. I like how big SAE's parties are and like yeah. Lambda, but like I think ASIG just threw a really cool party. So oh, I, think, I heard, dude. Yeah, uh-huh. Kyle was just on it. He's an ASIG. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a That's really dope. good party. This podcast just sucks. This convo just sounds so generic and bland. No energy at all. Just, um, what's your favorite frat? I like SAA. They're bag. Oh my God. I heard cows there. Like, get this off the airways, bruh. Like, what did Joe Budden say? That shit is a two pack of ass. I genuinely wish I could take back the few seconds of my life. I wasted watching that. Like, if you, I, I really do feel like if you're going to talk about on, on, on podcast, talk about some trending topics, at least. So somebody can fucking relate, bro. Like, not, bro. Like, uh, talk about something going on and something. Talking about, like, starting a podcast and talking about something amongst your friends that y'all would only get is not going to relate to nobody but your friends, your five, six friends that relate to the thing. Bro, you need more viewers than just your five, six friends. They don't understand what the... Talk about something meaningful, please podcast clip because now i just feel 10x dumber than what i was before i feel like one of the keys to a great podcast is an entertaining host because there's sure. going to be boring parts to a podcast and it's up to the host to make that podcast interesting when it's getting dry but the problem with this podcast is that the host has the personality of a raw wow. chicken wing so when he talks Damn. about boring topics and he's also boring that just makes the podcast 10 times more boring another problem with everyone starting a podcast is that some people don't believe that they need to do proper research before they record like a little bit ago oh my god yes bro niggas get online and just start spewing shit and just start talking nigga do you know what you're talking about no research no bro this is why i don't talk politics this is what i only talk shit i know something about or a little bit passionate about, or like i got an opinion about I would, you never see me talk politics on this motherfucker. Like, I'll call someone an idiot because I think that, but I don't, I'm not going to be like, hey, this, vote for this because this, I don't fucking know. I don't know. So I'm not going to actively get on here and start spewing bullshit I know nothing about. And niggas got to understand that, bro. On Twitch, there was this streamer named Jason the Ween who hit 100,000 subscribers, you know? He was number two on Twitch for his amount of subscribers in that month. And then there was this shitty TikTok podcast called the 949 Podcast that decided to give their opinion on the whole situation. And no, they're not really knowledgeable. Bro, and it just, and it was just hating. Just hating. Just hating the hate when it comes to this whole streaming space. So this was their take. Bro, streaming I, is the new wave. It's it is. Yeah. It's just, but the thing is, it's the new wave because of clips. Exactly, exactly. Like Jason the Ween, he, guess how many live viewers he has? Just guess. Depends on the time. Just guess, guess. Like you guys 5K? Guess. Well, how many live viewers do you think he got? Like, I don't like really 3K? Know. I don't know 3K. So like, he's like a number two, or I guess like, well, he has like around 15 to 20. Oh, 
Oh wow, you know that's but pretty the, good. But the thing about it, like, that's not that good in terms of like views. That's. Do you know how hard it is to get fifteen to twenty thousand people to watch you? What the fuck is you talking about? That's not that good in views. What is you talking about, nigga? Do you even get fifteen to twenty k to watch your podcast on a video that they can come back to? Do you even get that amount of video that that many views? Do you know how much fifteen to twenty thousand people is? Check the views on their podcast. Say less. Say less. Like money, man. Nigga. Nigga, if y'all subtract 15 to 20K thousand views, y'all are, are just peeking at views where somebody can come back and watch. This is two, two months ago. It took you two months to get 23,000 views. Two months. He has 20,000 people watching him currently at this moment. It took you two months to get that. What are we talking about? It took you two months to get what he gets at a single stream at a time. You're talking to talk. Boot this motherfucking channel up live right now and I guarantee you won't pull over a thousand, bro. Like, what is niggas talking about? Stop fucking being a hater all your fucking life. Jesus Christ. I feel but like live it's good for live. live. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's good for live, but think about the people in the world. It's only 15K. 15K yeah. so it's not So think about the people in the world that's watching your bro. What the fuck is you talk? Oh God. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me calm down, cause niggas just be talking, bro. Niggas just be talking, bro. I'm saying streaming is not like a mainstream thing they, yet. They, it's only yeah. mainstream because of the clips that they put out after, yeah, mm -hmm. right. which get millions and millions of views. Right. right. But no one's actually watching that shit live. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, literally, bro. There's a few things that piss me off about this Dookie TikTok podcast. Number one, this man is saying streaming is only big because of clips. Yeah, because nobody's going to sit there and watch an eight hour stream front to back, you idiot so to make it more digestible for the average viewer streamers and their audiences make clips so that more people can see their streams what's so bad about that another thing this man says is 15k live viewers isn't good views because the clips get millions of views that's how the internet works and 15k is Bro, good do you understand how hard it is to convert niggas from one place to a fucking another if you can get at least 10 percent you're fucking valid bro converting niggas from one place to another is hard as hell you can't bro it's like it's like having a hundred thousand views and expecting a uh, hundred thousand people to buy a shirt that's not how the world fucking works nigga not everybody's going to consume every piece of material you, you put out bro because it puts him in the top 0.1% of streamers. Like, why is it surprising that a live stream has less views than a TikTok video? Are we becoming this slow in society where we can't comprehend that a live stream that you have to watch live has less views than a video where you can, can watch, watch whenever? This dude knows nothing to about what he's bro. talking about. He's just saying a hot take because he has a mic in his face with the cameras on. This podcast just sounds like one huge gossip session. That's the problem with a lot of these podcasts. Some of them are just gossip sessions. Another situation of a podcast host not knowing what they're talking about is this one right here. Yep. So a little bit ago, there was a situation with Kai Sinat, right? He had a cameraman that was talking to an underage girl. And this podcast decided to put out their take on it because, hey, it was a fresh topic. Why don't we say something about it, you know? Why don't we do it for the clicks and engagement? Man, this and this is what clip, they had bro. to say. Kai Sinat, everybody can't go. This you need to start part, looking though. around. And I know, like, black people specifically, when you get some success, you want to bring everybody with crew. you. But you got to be able to kind of weed that shit out but i shouldn't know who chris v is i shouldn't know who chris next door is but chris next i shouldn't know who chris 
What like nigga? Oh my god! Just a actually do some research before you start talking, man. This door is literally an AMP member. What do you mean that you shouldn't know who he is? I should know who Kai Sinat is because you are the driving force in it. But them. I shouldn't even know who they are. I think it's important to highlight that Chris Next Door is an AMP member. If you right. guys don't know what AMP is, that is Kai Sinat's group. That's the problem. Kai Sinat shouldn't have a group. Kai. What the fuck is you? Oh my god, bro! Like, bro. And see, shout out to the nigga that actually did research and was like, this is, that's the problem. He shouldn't have a group. Nigga, oh my God. Oh God. Oh, nigga, are you slur? Are you, oh, he's, he's retired, chat. He's retired. He's retired. He's retired. Sinat joined the group before he became this huge mega streaming machine. This dude knows nothing about what he's talking about. He just sang a hot take because he's on a podcast. That's how they got on. Yeah. Having a team and making it with your team is very important. But, but, but if there are problematic people in there, kick them out immediately. But yes. you gotta know when you are the one, like he is the one. I get it. So he cool. should abandon everybody? Yes. He did not do this alone. Like there was a. That nigga's a terrible friend. <laughs> That nigga is a terrible friend. He's letting y'all know right now when he blows up, it's over for you niggas. Y'all are not coming. If he blows up, it's over. It's reps for y'all. Sayonara. Journey of a camp of they them. Came together. And I agree, like this problematic person, this person that was underage girls he has to go he yeah. like bye we're never speaking to you cut ties now that we are here and it's the second third however many times something like this has happened what does he do moving forward because now this it can't keep happening mm -hmm. you have to insulate yourself because at the end of the day that group doesn't mean anything without him that is cap yeah, because bro. everyone actually grew themselves before bro, they were before in. they were in niggas Duke was at a million. Agent was at a million. Davis was at a million. Phantom was at like half a million. Chris was editing for the group. They, bro, Kai was only big on Instagram. All them niggas had a million before Kai. Kai was only big on Instagram. Literally. Kai, I think he was the second to last. Chris was the last one to join since he was the editor. Them niggas was bigger than, like, what are you talking about? AMP. That's why it worked so well as a group because everyone had their own platform before joining. Except for Chris. He kind of created his platform after, but he was still pretty known. But this guy just knows nothing about what he's talking about. And this is my problem with so many of these podcasts. Like, if you're going to put out a statement on any current topic, you got to do the research to back it up. You're going to end up looking like an idiot. You can't just go in willy nilly on something that you know nothing mm -hmm. about. That's Fucking why a lot of bigger slow. podcasts like Joe Rogan have someone who can fact check, which is Jamie on his podcast and if you can't afford someone to be in that spot you should just look it up yourself before you put out this idiotic take on something you know nothing about like there's a difference between a hot take and just a bad and uneducated take and this right here is what i consider an uneducated take because yep. he just lacks the knowledge on what he's talking about i like how some people on the podcast are like trying to tell him like yo it's not like this it's kind of like this no but no no what i say my opinion my opinion dumb, dumb, leave them niggas Clearly the niggas that's around you did the research. Why are you, you doubling down on being stupid? Okay, whatever. Niggas just want to be dumb. He just doesn't want to listen. He just decides to be ignorant. I swear some people just get a mic in their face and their brains just go to mush. They don't know what they're talking about. I seen a dude the other day talking about how you need to stop wearing Nike socks with shoes for no reason at all, just because he said so. Stop wearing Nike socks with shoes, bro. Or, um a designer shoe even if you wear nike socks with some air force ones just stop doing that bro I, i'm sorry bro i just can't see nobody wear no nike the fuck you supposed to wear it with then you supposed to just walk out with socks hey you got on nike socks man take them shoes off wear just the socks it's, it's a fucking sock nike socks with a pair of shoes bro like what are you doing my opinion, i think that's crazy what do your socks have to do with anything on your fit? I understand if somebody says stop wearing a Nike shirt with Adidas pants, like that does kind of make sense, but stop wearing Nike socks with shoes? Why? Why, why don't you tell us why? Why? I think people got to realize it's fine to have conversations without them being recorded. You know, yeah, thank we you. can start stripping cameras and microphones away from society. Everyone has a voice, but not everyone's voice needs to be heard. And right. this is, is a video about podcasts. There's another thing I got to get on my chest, bro. Sorry, Alpha me. male podcast. This podcast format honestly just needs to retire bro like when i tell you these podcasts are one of the worst things to ever hit the internet because after these podcasts hit all people would argue about is who was worse women or men i hate this whole argument because can we all just 
Because at the end of the day, everybody ain't shit. Let's really talk about it. Oh, my God. Fuck. Shut up. What do you bring to the table? A punch to your fucking face. Shut up. Oh, my God. I hate... Bro, I hate these table... Women are fucking she-devils. Men are fucking terrible ass... Uh, bro, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Disagree that men do bad things and so do women. Men lie and women lie. Are we done now? Like, I hate this whole format of podcast. But yeah, not everyone should have a podcast. Don't just think because you have one good conversation with your homie that you now need this full Joe Rogan podcast setup. No, you don't need that at all. You don't even need a podcast, bro. What you need is a muzzle. But all that being said, this is gonna wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate you. Twitch Cameron WAK, Discord link in the description. If you guys oh, yeah. enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check out my most recent video. It'll be right up here on the screen. All that being said thank you guys for watching another boy cam and i'm out shout out to boy cam w video shout out to boy cam real interesting topics <laughs> real interesting topics w cam <laughs>